extra special warning. Our hosts do no research and preparation for these movies. They are just two cynical douchebags. They think just because they have ten years of bad TV under their belts, they are qualified to review these horrible movies. Well, YouTube viewers, Burn Gutter here, once again with another one of the worst movies on Netflix! <laughs> and for this week's movie, we have a Brigitte Nielsen Brigitte. movie. Seven foot tall, gigantar titties. And it's a shame because there is not a single booby in this whole entire movie. No. We get to see the underneath of her boobs, but that's about it. That's it. Anyway, the movie is Terminal Force. Oh. A 1993, oh. four, whatever, whatever craptastic fuck. sci fi fucking blah. I, I don't want to say film, I don't want to say movie, just blah. blah. It was bad. And you know what makes it even worse? It has Bull from fucking Night Court in it, doing yes. his best impersonation of, like, The Undertaker. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's a mixture between the bad guy from Go uh, Ghostbusters 2 and fucking Undertaker. He's like, yeah, he talks like this. Give me this gun. Give me this <laughs> Soon I will be in Scary Movie 2, and then that's it. So to be in this movie, there's a whole bunch of exposition done in a voiceover, but we can't understand a fucking word it's saying, since it's all kind of like... <laughs> so, okay, after all that, we can see there's some kind of war going on. <laughs> Yeah, some kind of spacey type war yeah, with yeah. ships and lasers and yeah. people in weird armor. Everybody wearing big ass armor that you're not really sure big what Big ass does. plastic armor. <laughs> yeah. But the funny thing in this movie is not only does it have fucking craptastic Brigitte Nielsen and craptastic bull from fucking Night Court, and that's how we're going to refer to him. We know his name is Richard fucking Ball. Oh, well, we know. But that. fuck that. He's bull from fucking Night bull Court. Bull from Night Court. I mean, sorry about his luck. I know that has to suck for him, but he's bull from fucking Night Court. Yeah, we realize that Michael J. Fox was in a TV show as well, but but he's an exception. Yeah. Because he's not Bull from Night Court. Well, Tom Hanks was in a TV show, remember Bulls yeah, and Buddies? Was. Yeah. Sorry, Bull, we just didn't want to see you after that. <laughs> Nobody did. <laughs> Nobody did. We just remember you were like, hey, that's Bull from Night Court. Yeah. Anyway, besides those two, it has the fucking bad guy from Cliffhanger. Yeah. Remember the, the guy who was like from Scotland, he kept kicking the piss out of Michael Rooker and he was like, I was a bloody good striker. It has a fucking cameo, I guess, of fucking Sam Raimi. Yeah. And it is Sam Raimi because his name's in the Sam fucking Raimi. credits and he's there in all of his Sam Raimi-ish kind of fucking goofy looking Boy, glory. He was just there before he went and did Spider-Man. And we know why he's a director because the Motherfucker can't act. Can't act at all. And he's more hideous than his brother, Ted. I don't know about that, but... Oh, I know about that. <laughs> Trust me. I've seen Fat Eyes Ted. <laughs> you know, and then there's just... I don't know. There's this something is... wrong with Sam Raimi's face. I have nothing to say on I'm that. I'm sorry, Sam. So there's crappy models of Klingon ships flying around, right? With little crappy hand-drawn laser animations on there. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, they blatantly stole the fucking Klingon ship, chasing them down, going like two miles an hour, because they're sitting there barely jogging <laughs> to get away from this yeah. big ship. So I guess the whole war is about the bull wants this firestone thingy. It's just a glowing little fucking thing, right? It's a light inside a little, box. you know, uh, jewelry box. Yeah, but so the good guys have it, you know, Brigitte Nielsen and Stryka. They, they, they have the firestone. So bull comes it's in. It's a bloody good sport. Bull comes in and kills... Striker. Striker. <laughs> and Brigitte knows it all freaks out. And somehow the Firestone ends up being in that room to ends up going to Earth into the possession of the Kmart fucking MacGyver slash, slash Time Chasers guy. Yeah. So he has this fucking Firestone and he goes into this fucking Asian dude and it just now it just goes away, right? Yeah, pretty much. So Brigitte knows it ends up on Earth, gets into a fight in this bar with these rednecks, you know. Because yeah. that happens in every fucking of movie. Of course. I go to a bar I get fight with rednecks all the time. And she's like, I need the Firestone. And he's like, I don't got it. I'm like, fuck your rebel flag. And they're just like, <laughs> we don't take kindly to your kind around here, boy. Now give me some sex. 
So basically now, you know, Brigitte Nielsen, after getting into the fight, blows up the fucking bar. So now it's the Kmart MacGyver and Brigitte Nielsen looking for this Firestone, and it cuts blow to these two cops inside the crime scene of the bar. Yeah, it's it's the Kmart Joe Frazier. Yeah. And random chick. Yeah. That nobody gives a fuck about. <laughs> so yeah, so they're like, what the hell is going on? We heard reports of a seven foot she tall look like gargantuan a woman with yeah. hum humongous boobies. What? I love gargantuan women with humongous boobies. No, no, that chick just looked like she should have been selling shit on CVS. <laughs> you know what I mean? CVS, a drugstore? Well, what's the one that they sell shit? Oh, shopping network? And, um, whatever, it doesn't fucking yeah, matter. Yeah, but she looked like one of them bitches that works selling on Selling the, the flameless candles. <laughs> On the Home Shopper Network, she did not look like a cop. And, and Kmart Joe Frazier looked like his eyeballs were going to pop out of his head. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The whole press of this movie is just back and forth between the two douchebags that are Brigitte Nielsen and, and fucking Kmart MacGyver looking for the Firestone. Slash Time Chaser guy. Bull coming in, fucking with them, and, 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 looking for the Firestone, and then these two cops looking for whoever is causing all this bullshit all over fucking town. And oh yeah, I forgot, the mob gets involved. The mob sucks in this fucking movie. You got this really fat, fatty, fat dude that looks like Steven Seagal now, and then he has his lackeys that fucking suck. And he screams, I love! A lot! And they're bumbling, and they can't do nothing right, and Brigitte Nielsen kicks their ass like 80 times throughout this and they fucking have, movie. Like, they have that fucking, that, always have that laughing dude in the fucking mob or the bad guys group. There's always the one guy going, nee! You know, laughing all stupid, thinks everything's funny. And you know what pissed me off about this movie? It basically is a whole bunch of Brigitte Nielsen and Kmart MacGyver show up. Then Bull shows up. Then the mob shows up. Then the cops show up. Something happens. They all break up. Five minutes later, Brigitte Nielsen and the fucking Kmart MacGyver show up. And then the cops show up. And then the mob shows up. And then finally Bull shows up. Blah, blah, blah. They break apart. Five minutes later, Wash, Rinse, Repeat. It's the same fucking, the same fucking <laughs> thing. Yeah, Wash, Rinse, Repeat. Repeat. That's pretty much how this movie is. Yeah. You know, if you want to sum it up real quick and simple. Yeah, basically. Yeah, and you didn't get one inch of titty in this. Not know? at all. Not at all. And that's I very mean, disappointing. Yeah, if for you're real. Make a craptastic film like this. God damn it, put some titty in it, because that's the only thing that'll keep me watching. Brigitte Nielsen stabs Bull in the back with some kind of dick-shaped weapon, <laughs> I whatever, and he kind of just dissolves. <laughs> but it didn't well, kill him. No, I mean never kill a bull, you know, because he's just gonna. He screams very loudly. But he didn't die because he no. they, they, like that won't kill him. He'll be back. Yeah, she just like that won't kill him. He, he, like what the fuck's the point then? Why don't we just kill him? So then they go to some yakuza type club to play poker. Why? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care about this fucking movie any goddamn more. That, I didn't really give two flying fasunkies. And you know, in this fucking movie, they had the slowest car chase fucking ever. It was between a delivery van and a fucking limo, right? So they're going like through like 10 miles an hour down the streets. I love I was always blacked out, so you really couldn't see, see who was driving. Yeah, if it was Bridget or not. You know? Yeah, but then I'm sure if there's an eight foot tall blonde with giant titties, you're gonna see. Then like the van crashes into some cardboard and stops. The mob gets out, <laughs> shoots the hell out of yeah. it. No Fats Brigitte Nelson, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no Kmart MacGyver. They escape into the RoboCop mill. I love the fat mob guy, the head guy. It looked like he was going to have a heart attack. The whole way through the movie, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. His fucking eyes were all watery. He was sweating. He was like, yeah, you're going to pay MacGyver. <laughs> so they go into this, into the RoboCop How mill. I forget. How did fat guy die? I don't remember. They're inside the mill. Mob guys are walking around. Brigitte's killing them. Bulls walking around. Around the cops are yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, walking yeah, yeah, yeah. around. But you only see Bull's feet through like the whole yeah. scene. Like and there's all these, all this other action going, on, action is going on, and fucking all you see is Bull's feet. But bang, bang, bang. You never really see yeah. him until the end. Well, you see him, but not in that scene. <laughs> and then once again, <laughs> cop shows up, <laughs> gunfight, <laughs> blah blah, <laughs> fucking blah. You know what? The good guys fucking win. I don't care anymore. Brigitte Nielsen <laughs> goes to kiss the Kmart MacGyver. He's finally into well, the it. Best part and was. he's like. And she, Here's the best part. Fades away. At the very end, she the way she kills Bull is she has said light thing attached to her hand. She goes pew. No, the fire he, stone. Yeah, and he goes Bleh. and falls into a fire and dies. Okay, wait a minute. She had the fucking fire stone the whole time with fucking time chasers guys. Slash yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, so why did she when uh, Bull came up? Why did ten million times he went throughout the fucking movie? And then she fucking just went. 
done, bull's over, movie's over, roll credits. Fuck you, Terminal Force, and fuck and, you, Bridget Nilsson. And, and then, of course, you. you know, after the whole thing ends, he's like, will you ever be back? And she's like, maybe someday. Is that ending to a Terminal Force 2? No, it was not, because <laughs> fuck that. If there is one, I ain't heard of it, and I don't fucking care. Yeah. I'd rather skin my face This is the movie. off this than watch the reason, this fucking this movie. This movie was probably the reason why Stallone and her broke up. She's like, be a Terminal Force with me. And he was like, no. Is there anybody that Brigitte, Brigitte Nielsen didn't fuck? She fucked him. She fucked Arnold on Red Sonja when she was hot. She probably fucked goddamn Dolph Lundgren too. I don't know. I have more respect for Dolph Lundgren. I believe his cock went nowhere near Bridget Nielsen. Anyway! Hey, I just I just backed you up, Dolph, so <laughs> don't come out and go like, yeah, I fucked her. I'm like, damn it! So anyway, on that note, that's it for Terminal Force. Fuck you, Terminal Yeah, Terminal Force. Force was a bad fucking choice. Oh, Normally when they were a bad choice, they were his fucking choice. So anyway, we are moving on. Next week we are doing a movie that we've watched the first ten minutes and it's not awful. It's not good. It's not awful though. But it's not awful. We're, so, in, we're in between on this yeah, so far. It's kind of a meh, meh movie on Netflix. But we'll see. It seems to be getting worse. And he's like, there's parts that make us go like mm. then there's parts that bring us back like oh, that was pretty good. And then mm. So we're not really sure yet. So anyway, that movie is Hansel and Gretel Get, Get Baked. Baked. It's about these two, about Hansel and Gretel going to this old lady's house to get fucking weed and she ends up eating them, I guess. Yeah. So anyway. Like pot brownies. So that's. I want a pot brownie now. That's it for Burn Gutter. See you again next <laughs> week with one of the worst <laughs> movies on Netflix. Welcome YouTubers. Lots of fun. Here we are, me and this bum, talking about Terminal Force pitches. I love the, the cock tease the whole thing. She kept like looking like she was going to make out with him. And then uh, Kmart fucking uh, MacGyver slash Time Chasers guy was like, No, I don't kiss seven foot tall chicks with big titties. I'm like, well, goddamn, who do you kiss then? And guess what? The guy... <laughs> the, uh, what do you look at me like that for? You Lovingly? <laughs> I saw the ghost beside you. It's, oh, it's soccer. a good, yeah, soccer. It's a good sport. Of course, he didn't say soccer, did he? No, no. He had to have said football. I don't think he said football. He didn't say football. He said he said uh, he said you like soccer. And he was kicking him in his rib cage, and he was like, "It's a good sport." Well, I guess we're Americans. We're too dumb to realize. We you are know, too dumb that it's called football over there. Sorry, Europeans. We're retarded. <laughs> yeah. We're Americans. You should know by now. You know, the the chick from fucking Surreal Life that fucked Flavor Flay. <laughs> Let's get that right there. Uh, okay. Like Flavor Flay. Whatever. She fucked him. Well, that doesn't matter. Okay? She fucked Flavor Flay. Yeah. And you got confused.